I welcome you to today's conversation. We in the strategic management, you know, and the planning. Um, we continue looking at the exam questions. And in today's study, I want us to concentrate on question number six. It reads that use ANSOP's growth strategy mix to explain the strategic options available to a business. Use some practical examples. Use the ANSOP growth strategy mix to explain. Now, this is the ANSOP's growth uh, strategy, but uh, I am restructuring a question. I want us to use the BCG matrix. So let's reread the question. The question now, let it read, use the BCG matrix. The BCG matrix is also examined. So everything, let's deal with it. The BCG matrix. Why? Because last time we looked at the answer of growth strategy you, you you know about it but you we have not discussed the bcg so i want us to focus on the bcg metrics what about the bcg metrics now you know the the stars the question marks the question marks the cash cows and the domes, the stars, the question marks, the cash cows and the dogs. These are some of the terms familiar to the people in business school. And uh, especially the business strategists, they understand these, okay? These are some of the strategic options that were studied. And this model was developed many years ago by Bruce Henderson. Bruce Henderson of you know, Boston Consulting Group discovered this in 1970. So the other names referring to the same model are the following. Sometimes you can call it the growth, uh, the growth share matrix. The growth share matrix is the same thing as you know the Boston box. You can still call it the Boston box. From the Boston box, you also have the product portfolio matrix. We also have the BCG matrix. All these names, they just refer to the same thing. The growth um, share matrix, the Boston box, the product, um, you know, portfolio, and the, the BCG matrix discovered by Henderson Bruce of 1970. He is a great man. He was a very powerful man of Boston Consulting Group. According to him, he said he discovered this matrix and I will use this matrix properly. Let me just bring the matrix first of all and present it before you. This is the matrix that the man in question started. You have the stars here. You have the question marks here. I will explain what they are. You have the cash cows. And you also have the dogs. Okay. You have low, high. You have high, low. Then in terms of the market, the relative market share is reducing as you move to the the left. This is the relative market market share. And as you move upward, uh, you have the market growth rate. The market growth what? 
growth rate, which means as you go upward, it is increasing. What was this model discovered to do? This model was developed actually for setting up the corporate strategies. It is for setting up the corporate what, strategies. Now, what are the corporate strategies? Maybe you may not be aware. Let me just give you the, the highlight of these, how they sit. On top here, you have got the corporate strategies. In the middle, you always have uh, the business strategies. And the, down you have the functional, the functional strategies. Before I talk about the, the corporate strategy, because the model is about corporate strategies, let me start by looking at the business strategies. What are the business strategies? These, they tell, they answer questions such as how to grow and compete. How do you grow? How do you compete in the markets? Then the functional strategy answers questions such as, you know, how do we support the business strategy, marketing and human resource, finance, all these departments, it's about how can these departments support the business strategy, which is about growth and the competition. Then now, the corporate strategy is about selecting which type of a business to start with and integrate the business into a portfolio. So when you talk about corporate strategies, it's about now choosing the many businesses. You are a corporation, a corporation that is dealing with so many businesses. So you're asking yourself that, what are we going to do having been given all these businesses? Which one do we start with? Since we need to use a practical example, I can give you uh, Samsung as an example. Samsung deals uh, with a lot of things, right? You can see that Samsung has phones. Samsung has got uh, laptops. Samsung has got TVs. You know, Samsung has got a lot of things, watches. Now, the strategic manager is sitting there as a corporate manager to come up with a corporate strategy. We ask ourselves, which one should we exit energy in first? Should we go for phones first? Are they going to make much more profit? Should we go for laptops first? So the corporate strategy is about choosing and strategizing corporate. It's about talking about many businesses that the corporation is doing. So that's how different these strategies are. At least you have known the difference between these uh, the strategies themselves and what they are. So now, you and I may be aware now, and I want to start breaking down, explaining uh, what is happening and how you make decisions using this model. The first model that we have, let's start with the number one. Number one, we are starting with the question marks. What are the question marks? These are the types of the businesses with the, look at how the market share is moving. As you go, this side is decreasing. As you move up, what the growth rate is increasing. These, they have almost relative zero, okay? Or low market share. Low or zero market share. But when again it comes to growth rate, the growth rate is high for, for the question marks, high growth rate. These require a lot of investments. They require a lot of what? Investments. These are the businesses where you have got um, low levels of market share, you have almost zero market share, but these businesses have very fast, you're in an industry where you can grow very fast, okay? Like the business has got capacity to grow very fast because the growth rate is very up, it's up there. 
So these, they deserve investments in. You can invest, okay? If you're not very careful and you don't do the right things, the question marks can even fall in and become the dogs. And I'll explain about the dogs very soon. You understand the dogs. So from number one, the question marks will graduate in two stars. What are the stars? The stars are those businesses that uh, have got uh, high market share. Check, the market share is high. And again, the market growth rate is high, number two. These are stars in the business. I mean, like, these products are stars. The market share is very big, and uh, the growth rate, again, is very fast. The stars. Okay. Then when you look at the, the cash cows, with the cash cows, these are money-making ones. With the cash cows, what happens now? The market growth rate is low, but the market share is very big. Now, this is actually associated to the product life cycle if you analyze this critically. This is just more like a product life cycle. You see, when the product starts, you have got low market share. Of course, there can be growth rates where you make investments here and there. But again, you see it <clears throat> start transiting or changing into the other products that become the stars, right? They do become the stars here and there and just do a lot of things. Yeah. So that is what usually happens. Then after the businesses reach the level of the stars, that simply means they are making more profit, like profit is increasing, sales are increasing at that point. From there, there is a point where the business reaches maturity stage. Like the market share is very big then the, the, the growth rate becomes slow, okay, during the growth stage of the, of the business. Yeah, at this point when you are operating at this stage, we are having cash cows. At cash cows, the cash cows, they generate more cash. They bring balance into the portfolio. Those are the cash cows. They bring balance into the portfolio. They even make more profit than required. They make much more money here, here when they are cash cows. Like this is where the business has reached its maximum. Okay. Making much, much more profit. What about the dogs? Now, these are uh, these are firms or the business that are just breaking even. They are not usually interesting for corporations they are likely to be liquidated. These are businesses that are, like uh, if you are to follow this and uh, uh, link it to the business cycle, this is where the product is, is about to, is declining in short. Because here, check that the market share is very low here this time around. And again, um, the, the growth rate, okay, is low. So at this point, you have to be very careful as a business. If you can, of course, there could be some other path managers that can come up with path strategies and spring back to, you know, uh, uh, to either becoming a, a star, but usually it's not very easy. So usually businesses, once they become the, the cash, the dogs, and uh, once the business is sitting under the dogs, low relative market share, the growth rate, the industry is slow. These are corporate levels. Then you check, you're like, uh-uh, we don't actually invest into this. So in short, always avoid the dogs. Always do what? Eh? Avoid the dogs. Is there any question? If there is no question, we can end here. The BCG matrix, discovered in 1970 by Bruce Henderson of Boston Consulting Group.